really cold. Hard to, uh, hard to breathe at the beginning. Having to catch your breath in the initial shock. Do not panic because you have one minute to get your breathing under control. You have 10 minutes of meaningful movement and one hour before you become unconscious due to hypothermia. So we devised a way to, to remember all three phases with what we call the one ten one principle. The first thing is you have one minute to get your breathing under control. Don't panic. That breathing problem will pass. You have time then to consider your actions. You have 10 minutes of meaningful movement for self-rescue or to prepare to wait to be rescued. If you couldn't self-rescue and you're starting to get weaker. And you have one hour before you become unconscious due to hypothermia. Only if you have a life jacket on. So there's no way without a life jacket that you can keep your head above water long enough. Okay? So a life jacket really increases your chance of survival, as we all know. But you have one simple principle, the one ten one principle. One minute gets your breathing under control, ten minutes of meaningful movement, and one hour until you become unconscious due to hypothermia. And if you can just remember that, that's your cue to remember a whole textbook of cold physiology. Never think twice about wearing your life jacket. Don't go anywhere near cold water alone for that matter. So make sure that you're prepared wearing your PFD or your life jacket. Tell me a good reason why not to wear it, and I can tell you a better reason why to wear it.